Herbs in Action, reflections and stories from the Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens Botany in Action Fellows, discussing herbs from around the world. Hi, I'm Veronica Earyart. I'm a PhD student at the University of Pittsburgh, and I study how herbicide pollution affects plant pollinator interactions and plant microbe interactions. And the herb I would like to talk about today is wild lupin. So its Latin name is Lupinus perennis, and it's a really beautiful plant. It grows in kind of a stalk-like shape, so kind of tall in the grass, and it has these bright blue-purple flowers that are pea-like shaped. What I find interesting about this plant is that its Latin name is lupin, and the root of that is lupus in Latin, which means wolf. It was thought that Lupin was kind of like a predatory plant because it seemed to grow in these really poor soil environments. So it's kind of like taking up all the resources for other plants. But in reality, it's kind of doing the opposite. It forms this special relationship with soil bacteria called rhizobia, where the rhizobia fix atmospheric nitrogen into a form that the plant can access and helps it grow better, but it also improves the soil quality for other plants in the local ecosystem. It has very protein-rich pollen that bees like to eat, especially bumblebees. And what's cool about the uh, lupin bumblebee interaction is that the plant has actually evolved a way to communicate with bees, where if a bee had visited a flower, the center of the flower will turn from white to blue. And this, over time, the bumblebees have learned that's a signal that the flower has been visited before. The bee gets to eat more pollen, but also the plant gets to spread more of its pollen around to other plants. While the plant doesn't make nectar, it does host a lot of caterpillars for different butterfly species, including the Carner blue butterfly, which is an endangered species, and it only uses food from the lupin plant to grow as a caterpillar. In one of my first research experiences as a college student, I was doing field work in Maine, and it was a marine ecology-based fellowship. And there I saw a lot of wild lupin growing in these sandy areas, like right by the ocean. So I have really nice memories of both working hard in the field, but also being able to see these really pretty blue flowers in the wind with the ocean in the background, and it, it makes me happy. <laughs> Herbs in Action is a collaboration between Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the Saturday Light Brigade and is made possible by the Mary Jane Berger Memorial Foundation, dedicated to educating the community about the many benefits and uses of herbs. To hear this feature again or to learn more about herbs from around the world, visit mjbergerfoundation.org.